MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Major League Baseball on MLB Network coming up right after this. Tyler Skaggs, the southpaw out of the Golden State, gets the call here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, Tyler Skaggs, one thing that you think of when you think of Tyler Skaggs, big overhand curveball. He's another guy that's coming back from Tommy John surgery. Good fastball, 92 to 95 miles an hour curveball. Knuckle curve, a spike curveball, and a really good one. We'll mix in the changeup. The key for Tyler Skaggs, command of the curveball. If he has it, he'll be around for a long time in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And Steve afternoon Ryan. baseball on MLB Network Steve is Ryan. underway. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Obviously looking to pull the baseball right there out in front on that off speed pitch. This will be an interesting sequence right here to see if he slows him down even more or tries to run a heater by him. The next 0-2 is taken. That's one ball, ball one. Strength. And we should see some 90s as we go forward. 88 degrees, our game time temperature. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Young is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Time now for a look at the Rays starting nine. Who stands out to you, Danny? Yeah, I'm pretty excited to watch Kevin Kiermeyer. He doesn't let the pressure of the big moment get to him. I love watching this guy hit in clutch situations. It's like he takes a deep breath and everything stops in front of him. He plays like the Zen man. First delivery to him on the way. Yeah. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Skaggs, a 6-4 lefty. He was a first-round pick back in the 2009 MLB draft. Yeah, Matty, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Pitcher went to the well one too many times. Back-to-back -to -back fastballs. Hitter was able to keep his hands through, deliver a nice line drive. Here's Carlos Gomez. Popped him up. Marte waits on it. Two gone. That is board. The designated hitter. At the plate, CJ Krohn, who takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. First offering on its way. Line toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Runner's still going. They're going to wave him around third. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate, but not in time as he's across with the run. Well, with two away, the man on first, he was moving on contact. He got a great jump and comes all the way around the score on that double. Always nice to snag the early lead, and they've done it here. In now, Jake Bowers, as he's well in front of the curveball and comes up empty there for strike one. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. Hey, make a pitch right here and get out of this. Get the boys in the dugout and regroup a little bit. One run is not going to kill you. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And the run's going to come into score from second as they grab a two to nothing lead now. And he is in there with an RBI triple. The pitcher was almost out of the inning. And I think he might have taken that third out for granted. Instead, he gives up a two out RBI triple to make it two nothing.
Jima and Choi the next to hit. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. Swing and a miss and he's in control 0 and 2. You see a guy taking swings like this. I think as a pitcher right here you got to expand the zone even more. Lifted the other way out to left center. Young Junior sprinting after it. He gets there to make the play and that ends the inning. So it's two runs on three hits no errors and a runner left on. On now to the bottom of inning number one. Tampa Bay leads this one two to nothing. Andrew Kittredge a Washington born right hander gets the starting assignment. What do we need to know here Danny. Hey we're going to get a chance to look at one of the top pitchers. Think about this a career ERA under two. Do you have any idea how hard that is to do. And this guy can be an absolute and nightmare to opposing hero. hitters. Standing Got in eight. number Three six. Number It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. No balls and a strike to count. Don't know what he's waiting for there. It's 0 and 2. Hit down the line at first. Bowers loves it. He'll take it to the bag himself. And the leadoff man is gone here to start the home first. Now the moment now to take a look at the starting nine for Mike Socha's Angels. Who's the one to watch, Dan? Yeah, you have to look out for the guy they call Simba, Andrelton Simmons. The guy is in the middle of the lineup, and when he's in the middle, things just happen. Guys in front of him get on, he drives them in, and if not, he has the ability to get things started and set the guys up behind him. He's a force. Counts even to Trout, one and one. One and one. And here's a fastball, not close as he runs it to two and one now. Start of that swing a bit too early. Bases are empty, one man out. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Angels center fielder. And obviously this guy's a double threat up there. He can run and he can go yard too. You don't want to walk him because he might steal a base on you. But you don't want to groove a fastball either because he can take you out of the yard. Next will be the designated hitter Shohei Otani. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Swing and a miss on a ball inside 0 and 1. Mm -hmm. Just reached back and threw a high fastball right by him. He didn't stand a chance. Trout stands at first with one out. And that one stayed too low apparently. I don't know if that was a great take or he got fooled. He's certainly trying to play it off like he knew what was coming. You could bet he'd be on alert for that curveball again. To two balls and two strikes now. He's up in the zone a lot right now. Sometimes that can be effective but I think you have to be careful with that especially during a day game where the ball tends to carry a lot more. Swing and a miss at the curveball and there's your second out of the inning. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there he goes down on strikes but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. First delivery to him on the way. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And foul. 0 1, here's the pitch. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. A runner on first with two away. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. I think a few of these folks need to get out of the sun. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. And that'll bring up Joey Wendell. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing in two. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Popped up. Number three calls for it. One down. Time for a look at the Angels on defense. 
And let's take a look at Andrelton Simmons. You can argue this is the best defender in all the sport. Range, first step, quickness, whatever you want to throw out there, this is one of the best in the game. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Takes this the other way to right. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Don't sleep on the bottom of the order right there. He broke out all ambush tactics. First pitch fastball middle in, and he's able to drive that for a nice swing. Into the box, Jesus Sucre, as he gets a good curveball here to start the at bat. It's strike one. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. And he chased up and out of the zone, a swing and a miss. The lineup top to bottom looks like they have no approach or game plan whatsoever. It's like they're deciding to swing before the pitch is even coming out of the pitcher's hand. Lash is on his horse. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now batting. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Well, he had to be looking for something else to start the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold. 0 and 2. Pulled toward right center field. Lash is on the move. And that ends the inning. Ray's strand just the one, but they're on top two to nothing. In now is Andrelton and Simmons, set to lead off the home That's half of the down. second. Hey, we're Andrew still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. A ball and a strike now. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. OK, here's how the race set up on defense today. And let's take a look at center fielder Kevin Kiermeyer, multiple gold glove winner, probably the most athletic outfielder in all of baseball. This guy makes the highlight reel look routine and has an absolute rocket for an arm. The 0-1 on its way. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, he's really rolling on the mound right now. All you have to do is look at the last four hitters for evidence. All four of them have gone down on strikes as you're seeing here. That's not easy to do, so you know he's got to be pretty dialed in out there. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. Stays alive, still 0-2. Now another 0-2. Missed with a slider. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five in a row via the punch out, and the inning is over. Three up. Three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More bait. Now the beauty of the Southern California coast. Thanks for being with us for daytime baseball on MLB Network from the Big A. Ready for another chance? Number one. As we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Now a ball lined toward the gap in left center. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Lead-off single to start the third right now. From an offensive standpoint, keep the aggressive at bats happening. Keep the pressure on the defense. Everything's looking good right now. Here's Carlos Gomez. 0 for 1 here in the early going. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And a breaking ball stays outside. 
that curveball stayed up in the zone. You'll see that often early in the game where a pitcher's trying to find that release point, particularly with his off-speed pitches. We'll have to keep an eye on him, see if he's able to settle down as this game moves on. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove. The relay, and he is in there. Wow, this is a perfect example of a Wiley veteran doing what needs to be done to deliver for his team. Yeah, and just watch this swing. Instead of trying to do too much with it and pull it, he stays inside the ball and is able to smack it to the opposite field for a double. Here's C.J. Crone now as he rips it on the ground to second. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. Brings home the run with a ground Number ball, nine. but also moves the other guy over to third base. Good job of keeping it simple there. Stepping into the box, Jake Bowers. The potential second run of the inning stands at third. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Hit hard on the ground towards second. He's got it. And there are two away now. That grounder was hard hit, and sometimes the runner at third will have to hold on a ball like that, but he was off on contact, and they opted to take the out at first instead. G-Man Choi the next to hit. He swings and grounds it to short. Simmons to his left. He's there. Throw in time and the side is retired. So they get a couple of runs on two hits. No errors and no one left aboard. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The Rays four and the Angels nothing. Into the box, number three. And they've got some work to do early on. Down four, nothing already. From the stretch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Here's the pitch. Way in front of that fastball. Man, this has been a game filled of a lot of swings and misses. Not very many confident swings. And this team up there, they swing at a butterfly right now if it flew in front of the plate. Lots of swings, lots of misses, a lot of ugly at bats for this team right now. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Man, it looked like the pitcher was trying to get him to go fishing in a pitch out of the strike zone. He went for it all right, but he managed to catch all of that baseball, lacing it for a double in the outfield. That's a great piece of hitting. He pulls into second safely as a run will score on the play as well. Back-to-back -back doubles now, and that's a great way to get an inning going. The leadoff man shows him how it's done, and he comes right behind him following suit. Lacing a double of his own could be a big inning if this continues. One and one the count now. All right, that's when you got to tell yourself to slow down a little bit right there. Out in front on a fastball, hit it hard, but pulled it foul. Young stands at second with no outs. Pitches away, but it's swung on and grounded to second. And that's the first out. First pitch coming. Here it is. Pop high in the air. Kittredge over to his right. And that's the second out of the inning. Now batting. And now the designated hitter for the Angels, Shohei Otani. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. Just a tick behind for a strike. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. He had some really good late action on that slider right there. It's hard to do anything with that pitch unless you're sitting on it and catch it out front before it breaks all the way in. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball and that's how the inning comes to an end. Angels do get a run in the inning on this RBI double. We're through three here in Southern California. The Rays four and the Angels one.
stepping up to the plate, Joey Wendell. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Flashes on the move. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. In now, Matt Duffy. He singled his last time. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes a knee high fastball. Duffy can be considered a bit of a one dimensional hitter I guess in terms of making contact he tends to see the ball out of right handed pitchers hands well but doesn't seem to pick up the left handers at the same level. Oh and two count here's the pitch. Hit in the air to straightaway center Trout has a read on it and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. How about it? Digging in, Jesus Sucre. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a miss at the good old Uncle Charlie. I mean, this is the classic case of ambush tactics at its finest, but this is getting a little ridiculous. I'd like to see some of these guys in the lineup work the count a little bit and find themselves on base and maybe drive this guy's pitch count. A one and two count to the Rays catcher. Swing and a miss and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Rays. But they lead it four. Here's Jeffrey Marte now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Short hit hard. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. The batter, the shortstop, Andrew Digging in, Andrelton Simmons looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. And a curveball that time that broke too low. One run, two hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. It's a swinging bunt up the line. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Now back, number 37. And now for the Angels, number 37. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Comes set with the 0-1. Swings through it for strike number two. Hey, this boy ain't messing around right now. Attacking his zone, showing a lot of confidence in his stuff. He's got two. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Angels are gone in order. They trail it four to one. Matt Vaskersian back with Mark DeRose and Dan Plezak as Kevin Kiermeyer settles in to start the inning. First delivery to him on the way. Pulled toward right center field. Trout has it and it's a quick out number one. Striding into the box. Number one. Two base hits. Both singles to this point. Here comes the first pitch. And this one is not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. His pitch count is in a really good place at this point in the game. He's pounding the zone and getting first pitch outs just like he did on the last guy. We might see him work deep into this game if he keeps this up. The 1-1. One, one. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Trout will wait on it. Two gone. Here's Carlos Gomez, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. up and the 0-2 pitch swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning Rays go in order one two three as they hold on to a four to one lead 
now at the plate, Jabari Blash. He'll lead things off as we begin the home fifth. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Stepping into the box, number three. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Push softly over toward the right side. And this will get taken in at first for the second out of the inning. Digging in the switch hitter, Eric Young Jr. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. Fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. Hit on the ground out for short, right to him. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Angels go down one, two, three, and this is still a four one ball game. So coming to the plate, CJ Crone, one for two with a double on his line thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swing and a miss at the good old Uncle Charlie. Some stirring now in that Angel bullpen as it'll be both a lefty and a righty that start to get loose. And that one, misses one. one and one. Now the one and one pitch. Hard hit ball to second. Scooped up. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now batting. Number Ready nine. once again, Jake Bowers. He's one for two in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Two. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Zero. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Shot down the first baseline. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. Matty, that's a surprising pitch right there. I don't understand after blowing a fastball by him, he would speed his bat up with off speed. Yeah, redemption after being late, right on time with the off speed pitch next. Now, Mike Sosha is up out of the Angel dugout on his way to the mound. And he's seen enough here. That's going to be all for Tyler Skaggs. Gone after five and a third here as he never really found his groove in this one. Jose Alvarez enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Alvarez. G Man Choi, the next to hit, as he rips it on the ground to second. And that's through for a hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. And that'll bring up Joey Wendell. As he'll send the first one he sees on the ground to second. The second for one. But he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Third baseman, number five, Matt Duffy. At the plate, Matt Duffy. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Hey, I don't have a problem with him taking a pitch right there. It's a good opportunity to see what he's got. Also a good opportunity to see if he's going to be pounded in the strike zone. If you could work a couple walks, it could be the start of a big inning. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Trout has a read on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Rays strand a pair, but they lead it 4-1. to one. 
back to the top of the Angels lineup now and stepping in number six. He'll start the inning and we're back to the top of the order but they haven't looked too dangerous in this one yet. Right guys. Well none of them have any hits yet so you're right on the money. They've done a great job of holding these guys down so far. Another opportunity for him here so we'll see if anything changes. Wendell backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Number 27. Here's the center fielder Mike Trout. He got under one and popped out his last time up. And that's up in the zone a bit, but a called strike. 0 oh 2. I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional. He's mixed east and west really well, and it's a big reason why he's had success. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. Next up, the two-way Japanese import, Shohei Otani. No hits to this point. Ready with the 0-1. Sliders in for a strike. This offense is going to have to find a way to get going. It's happened in the past. Every team goes through it where everyone seems to fall into a funk at the same time. Everyone needs to relax and not try and be the hero and just start getting the leadoff guy on. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Angels are gone in order. They trail it four to one. Back here at Angel Stadium of Anaheim. We're in the seventh with the Rays out in front, and let's get you caught up with our game summary for the first six innings. First pitch of the at bat. Good opposite field power here, taken high and deep to right. And he will not make the play. It's off his glove. Around second. He's on his way to third. The relay throw. Throw won't get him. He gave it all he had out there in right field, but he just couldn't quite catch up to it. I like the effort with the lead, but once it got down, he was off to the races and into third. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Blatch is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. So add one more on the sack fly, as that'll make this a 5-1 to one game. Great job Number of one. offensive execution there. Lead off triple, and then the sack fly to bring home a run. Now at the plate, number one. Base is empty and one away following the sack fly. Here comes the first pitch. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Clean slate on the base pass after that sack fly a minute ago. So now's the time to be aggressive with these hitters. Go right after them and try to get out of this inning with only one run scored. Behind 0-2 now. Swing and a miss on the changeup and there are two gone. Digging in once again, Carlos Gomez. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Good chance he's not seeing that pitch again. If he does, it's got to be bounced. But I'll tell you from a pitcher's perspective, that's nothing but a long strike. And the pitch. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. One run here on one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. Here's Jeffrey Marte now. He's batting cleanup in this one, but we'll get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just a single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. And there's one away. The batter number two, 
Ready now for L.A. Andrelton Simmons. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Well, he got the leadoff guy in the inning on a ground out. And now he's 0-2 to start this at bat. He looks really sharp so far to start the seventh. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. So striding in, number 37. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Here's Jabari Blash. Now batting, right fielder, Jabari Blash. Vidal Nuno takes over here with the runner at first and two gone in the inning. Number 38, Vidal Nuno. He's set. Here it comes. A little bouncer. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Angels leave one. They're down five to one. So here's the cleanup hitter, C.J. Crone. He'll have the first crack at it here as we start inning number eight. Here's the first pitch to him. And a feeble swing that time. It's 0-1. Ugly swing right there. That pitch wasn't even close. You could tell this guy's been in the swing mode from the minute he walked into the batter's box. Behind 0-2 now. 0-2 count. Here's the pitch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Digging in and looking for more. Jake Bowers. Number nine. So far, two for three in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit. Foul, so a missed opportunity there. A pause and the 0-2. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Wow, talk about mowing him down. How about two strikeouts on six pitches? He isn't messing around, and these last two batters have had no answer for what he's throwing up there. This is pulled into right. Blatch is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Down in order go the Rays. They lead this one though, five to one. Now at the plate, number three. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Nuno, a California born ball player, he was taken in the very late rounds back in the 2009 MLB draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. This is line to left. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. Around first, he's digging for second. Around second now, and this ball still hasn't been fielded. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. And that's the chance you take when you lay out for a ball like that. You make the play and you're a hero on the highlight shows. You miss it and you're picking yourself up and chasing after it. Into the box now, number six, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. The one two. Swing and a little tapper. That goes foul so he stays alive with two strikes. Again a one two. Fouled away. When you have two strikes on you as a hitter if you get something that you can handle you have to find a way to do some damage with it. That was a missed opportunity. Tapper up the line. Throw to first, not in time as the run is across to score. 
And that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one, but I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D-Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. Ryan Stanek answers the call now, looking to get this one onto the ninth inning without any trouble. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Lifetime versus this pitcher. Batting 500, 5 for 10. He's taken him deep once. Down low, two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Missed with a slider. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. So it was a strikeout swinging. Mike Trout goes down for out number two in the bottom half. Fastball that gets the inside corner, strike one. Swing and a miss, it's 0-2. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We've played eight full. It's the Rays five and the Angels two. And that'll bring up Joey Wendell. He'll be charged with trying to get on board leading off the ninth. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Scooped up on the backhand. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now batting, third baseman, Matt Duffy. Now in the box, Matt Duffy. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Very weakly on the ground. One out, nobody on. Hard hit ball to short. This is going to find its way into left for a one out knock. Now into the box Captain now. Jesus Sucre. He made it to third on a triple in his previous appearance. High in the air out to center field. Trout has a read on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer, 0 for 3 with an RBI in this one. First offering on its way. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Blatch going back at the track, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. And the runner will score from first. And happy birthday as they allow him to cross with the inside the park home run as he catches his breath to reflect on his good fortune. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, just a miserable effort there. It's 0-1. For the most part, he's looked really locked in at the plate in this game. Not so much on that swing, though. A lot of movement that time. It's 0-2. Here's the 0-2. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this. Here's Jeffrey Marte now. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Jeffrey Marte. First pitch of the at-bat. And he fouls this one off. Here's the 0 1. Got a big pass at a slider that gets past him. 
swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing in two. Bases are empty, one man out. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Gomez is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Hey, when this game started, there's no way they envisioned relying that much on the back end of the bullpen, but he gets the last five out, sealing the win for the team and collecting the save for himself. 7-2 to two, the final score this afternoon. The Rays jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Andrew Kittredge takes home the win. So that's a wrap for us here this afternoon. For Mark, Dan, and the rest of our crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. The final line score for this afternoon's ballgame from Victoria Spring. Seven runs, 11 hits, no errors. They left four men on base. The Angels, two runs on four hits, no errors. They left four men on base. Time of the ballgame, three hours and 17 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.